Hi, good afternoon everyone. So, welcome to your... I don't know how many live stream is it already. So, I hope all of you are doing well. Okay, uh, you guys are staying home, staying safe. You're completing the assignment and completing all the tasks that I ask you guys to do. Alright, so... Um, now, uh, two days ago, okay, two days ago, I have given you guys this, okay, and then yesterday, I have given you, I have given you guys uh, maybe a few worksheets to do as well. So I hope that all of you are doing it at the moment. Now, the uh, I'm trying to adjust the volume. It has dawned on me that the uh, last time on Monday it was a bit too loud, okay, because of this new mic that I have. So I'm trying to adjust the volume to a acceptable setting. Alright, so please tell me in the chat box down below or to the right, okay, if let's say the volume is uh, okay, is it too loud, okay, is it not too loud, or whatnot, alright? So, today is going to be a little bit different, alright, it's going to be a little bit more interactive, alright, I'm trying to see whether I can project the video to all of you, alright, so I hope all of you would have your book with you at the moment, alright, if you don't have your book with you at the moment, just follow along, alright? So, Let's get down to business. All right now, before I go, before I begin the lesson proper, any questions you guys have to ask me? Any questions regarding the assignment? Any questions regarding the task in which I ask you guys to do? Any questions? Nope. All right, feel free to interact with me down the chat box down below or to the right. All right, if you're not here during the live stream, it's okay. All right, I've already recorded, I mean, uh, the, the live stream is going to be uploaded to my YouTube channel after this, all right, so you guys can catch up anytime you want, all right? So, let's get, uh, if there are no questions regarding your assignments or your task, all right, so I'll just move on, all right? To, on Monday, I asked you guys to do exercise 2, exercise 3 on page 58, 59, all right, and exercise 1 and 2, working with words with, uh, on page 1, 2, 2, and I've given you guys a speaking task. So this would be the answer for exercise 2. All right, so the first question, okay, the first question is what are the main stages of importing his goods? There are three, all right, mainly they're sourcing the goods, buying from the nomadic tribes, okay, uh, buying the goods from nomadic tribes and through the middleman, okay, sorry, buying from the nomadic tribes. I'm sorry, okay, I have to edit the thing. All right, so buying from the nomadic tribes and through the middleman, and he has to trust them. Okay, uh, so, sorry, uh, sourcing the goods, transportation, storage, and showroom. Okay, these are the three main stages. And the second question would be, what does he have to consider about its stage? All right, and these are the things. Sourcing the goods, he has to buy the nomad, uh, he has to buy from the nomadic tribes, transport to the middleman, he has to trust them. All right, and for transportation, he has to know how to transport them depending on the country they're coming from. All right, and storage and showroom, each rug is unique, so he has to record Okay, uh, he, has, uh, he needs to record on each one, okay? okay? Sorry, he needs record, okay? He needs records on each one, okay? <clears throat> so these will be the answers for exercise one and two. Sorry, three and four, okay? So uh, two and three, sorry. Uh, uh, any questions so far? Nope, nope. All right, uh, can you, I uh, mean, if let's say I'm too loud or I'm unclear, please tell me in the chat box down below or to the right, all right? Previously, it was a bit too loud, but nobody told me, all right? I, I can adjust the mic even further because this is a new mic and it's a very powerful mic, all right? So things can go a little bit too loud at times, okay? So just tell me if let's say I'm too loud, all right? So uh, this would be the answers for exercise two and three. Now the rest. Okay, the, the rest of them, exercise 3 will be here. Okay, exercise 3 will be here. So please take a moment to take down the answer. All right, exercise 3 on page 59. All right, so this will be a supply chain, handmade, inventory, origin, showroom, middleman, shipment, run low on, keep track of. Right to all of this. Okay, I think if you refer to the uh, to, to the earlier live stream, you'll be able to see all the answers because it's exactly the same. All right, it's just the order is a little bit different. All right, so for practice far page one two two, okay, page one two two over here. 
Okay, the answers are already here for exercise one, transportation, showrooms, inventory, middleman, shipment, blah, blah, blah. All right, so just take a screenshot of this or just go to the, uh, just go to the you know, live stream earlier. If let's say you're watching this on the delayed telecast and mark it on, uh, mark it, okay, on the spot, all right? Um, if you have not done this yet, please, all right, do it, okay, before you check the answer. All right, clear? So far, so good. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, now if there are no questions, all right, if, if there are no questions, I'll move on, all right, to today's task, all right? Now, I'm going to talk about shadow work, all right? Is it a good strategy for business or not? Now, I have a few companies or brands here. I have Watson's, Resorts World, Gunting, Air Asia, Pa Wang Rice, and Ikea. Now, look at the above companies or brands. Now, look at them, okay? Now, think, what do they have in common? And what connects all of them? Right, tell me what do you think about it? Okay, what do they have in common? What do they have in common? So comments down below or the chat box right next to it. Tell me what do they have in common? What are the things that they do that are the same across all? Watson, what do they do? Asia, what do they do? Okay, Pao Wan Fun, what do they do? IKEA or Resorts World Genting, what do they do? Okay, which are the same? They have many shops, okay, true, okay, we are using very true, all right, they have many shops, but that's not the point, okay, that's not, IKEA, if you, if you look at it, IKEA don't really have a lot of shops, okay, IKEA in Malaysia, they only have in Penang, KL, they have two, JB, um, and that's about it, all right, four in Malaysia, I think they're opening in Sabah quite soon, but not really, if you compare Asia, Pa Wan Fan, uh, Genting only, only one, Genting only one, so not that many. Okay, not, not, not that many. Asia, yes. Watson, yes. Pao Wan Fan, yes. But Ikea and Genting, not so. What connects them? What do they have in common? What, what, what are the same across all of them? Okay, comments down below on the chat box right there. Just tell me, what do they have in common? What are the things that they do that are the same? Come on. Think about it. Think about it. What do they have in common? Okay, uh, if let's say you are, if, if let's say you are not sure, right, think about the, the, the things that they are selling, the services they provide and the things that they are selling. What are the things that they have in common? Okay, comments down below or the chat box down below or to the right, just type in anything. Come on. Think. Right, if let's say you need a clue, I will show you a few pictures. Now, these are some of the products that they are doing, all right, or they're selling or they're providing or the services are providing. Now, what connects them? What connects them between all of them? What, they, they are selling this, all right? If you look at this, okay, if you look at this picture right here, all right, this one is, is a baggage drop counter, okay? Air Asia must does this sometimes, all right? Asia do it a lot, okay? We have to print our own luggage tags and put it there. Pao Wan Fan, all right? Pao Wan Rice, you have to take your own, you have to take your own meal, all right? Watson's, all right, if you have a self-checkout, okay, if you have self-checkout, you just go there, scan, pay on your own. IKEA. If let's say you buy stuff from IKEA, do they come as correct? Okay, using self-service, correct. All right. In a sense, all of this, okay, all of these uh, companies, money connects them. <laughs> money connects them, which is uh, tr true in a sense that they want to make money. But Yijing's uh, um, okay uh, answer is correct. Okay, because they are all self-service. Right. They are all, in a sense, self-service because IKEA, if you look at it, if you buy stuff from IKEA, does it come assembled? No, you have to actually build. You have to build your own furniture. You have to assemble your own furniture. Watson's, all right, now they have this self-checkout counter. You, uh, you, you take the stuff that you need. After that, you just go to, you just go to this self-checkout. You scan by yourself, all right? You pay and then you bag it all by, by yourself. Everything is by yourself. All right, Paul Wanfan, you take your own, okay? You take your own uh, rice. You take your own, um, uh, what kind of portions, Okay, and uh, for Asia, they want you to check in by yourself. They want you to uh, print the uh, luggage tag by yourself. They want you to do everything by yourself. All right, so this is what we call self-service. All right, self-service or what we like to call shadow work. I will explain shadow work later. All right, now how is it different from no service? 
What's the difference between self-service and no service at all? Now, we talked about service tax in the beginning, okay? In the beginning, when we started our class, all right, where, what, what, is, what is actually SST, you know, what is service tax? What's the difference between these two, all right? So, in this sense, all right, what's the difference between self-service and no service at all? Okay, what's the difference? Think about it. Self-service and no service, what connects them? What is the difference between self-service and no service at all? Think about it. How, how can an outlet say that they are self-service and an outlet say that they don't provide any service? What, what's the difference between these two? Think about it. And chat box down below or to your right if you're watching this on uh, if you're watching this on computer if you're watching this on mobile comments down below come on what connects them think about it Now, uh, if let's say you if let's say you're confused between self-service and no service, self-service is where the service is provided, all right, but the customer, the consumer or the customer is encouraged to perform their own service, okay, as a convenience to the customer. All right, it's a convenience to the customer, either make it cheaper or make it faster for the consumer. All right, in IKEA's case, IKEA's case, you when you buy, okay, they call it self pack, if I'm not mistaken, self-assembly uh, self uh, self furniture, they call it. All right, if let's say you buy traditional furniture from a furniture shop, you have to wait, you have to wait for it to be shipped, you have to wait for it to be built, okay, at a factory or at some place, then you have to pay a lot for shipping to your house, all right, or they assemble it at your house for you, all right, so they, it, it be, essentially, it becomes a lot more expensive, and then the supply chain, the logistics behind it will be quite um, difficult and complicated. Okay, because imagine you're buying a bed, okay, you're buying a bed frame, all right, and then it comes assembled. So your bed is like big, all right, and then the uh, the, the, the company, in logistics wise, they have to send the law, they have to send a truck or a lorry to your place. Again, they have to hire people to carry the, 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 the bed down into your house, this and that. So logistics of it is going to be quite complicated. But what IKEA did was they make the entire supply chain or they make the entire uh, logistics uh, arrangement of it a lot easier because when you buy stuff from IKEA, you are buying it and you're assembling it home. It comes compact packed, all right, so but it is easy for you to transport in your car. Even my MyV can fit a, 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 what, what, what kind of a, a cabinet in, all right, because it comes disassembled. After that, you, you assemble it yourself, okay, so it cuts down on the labor cost on IKEA's part. That's why some IKEA furniture are a lot cheaper compared to the furniture shop outside there, all right, so th that, that is what IKEA is actually doing, all right, uh, it, it, it's the kind of convenience of the consumer itself, all right, consumer want it, so that's a major difference here. For Watson's, sometimes the queue is long, okay, or you just want to buy that one item, that one shampoo, or that two or three items, and then some, the, the, the people at the queue are buying that five, ten, twenty items, and then they have to scan one by one, all right, so for in, in Watson's case, it becomes a lot more convenient, a lot faster for a lot of people but if they do self checkout. All right, just go there, scan your card, your scan the products, your pay, and go. All right, so it's the customer's choice. All right, to do it. So this is what we call self service over there. Part one fund also the same. Okay, you go over there. The work the, the, the workers don't have to spend a lot of time all right, trying to uh, gather the food because some people want less, some people want more. All right, you can go and do all it by yourself. You want how many pieces of chicken, you want how many tofu, you want how, how much uh, vegetables or whatnot. You control your own portion and the only and, and they, they will only weigh and charge you accordingly. All right, and Air Asia, the same as well. All right, instead of queuing up to, uh, to, to check in your bags, queuing up to get luggage tag, check in last time, now every Thing is online now you can do on your own all right so this is what, what we call self-service but no service even though we want it okay the service is not provided okay self-service is the customer's choice usually they don't give you any service because of the customer's convenience but no service is at the customer's inconvenience they don't provide it and at the same time it caused the consumers to suffer in a sense all right the, the consumers don't get to do what they want all right, so the difference between self-service 
and no service is this. Self service is to the consumer's convenience, all right. But no service is not by choice. Okay, we have no choice. We as consumers have no say. All right, it's not provided. But self service, we have a choice to take it or not take it. All right, so that is the difference between self service and no service at all. Understand? Clear so far? Any questions so far? If there are any questions, put it at the comments down below or the chat box to your right. All right, I will respond as I go along. All right, so next would be this. Now, what is shadow work? What is the definition of shadow work? Now, just now, whatever that I've said before, okay, it is shadow work. And if, let's say, you want to refer to the things I'm talking about, it's on page 63 of your book right here. Okay, this particular passage right here. All right, if you can see properly. All right, so if you have a book with you, please turn to page 63. And uh, this is where I'll be doing the lesson from today. All right. Now, now, shadow work is defined as this. All the unpaid jobs we do on behalf of the businesses and the organizations. All right, we are doing it for them. We are doing the company's work for them. Okay, we are, like in Ikea's case, we are helping them assemble, the, assembling the furniture. All right, in Resorts World Gunting, we check out, check in by ourselves. All right, the, the staff don't have to do anything. All right, Air Asia also the same. We check in, all right, we baggage drop, we, we put in our own luggage tag, everything we do by ourselves. All right, so the, it, it, it saves the company money, it saves the business money, it saves them on logistical arrangement. All right, so in a sense, that we are doing the job for them, but we don't get paid. All right, so that is uh, that, that is what we call shadow work, and it takes up a lot of our time. It takes up a lot of consumers' time as well. All right, that's why some people they don't want to buy from IKEA because they feel that if they buy some things from IKEA, especially a cabinet or a bed or whatnot, uh, or whatever that they buy from IKEA, they have to assemble it themselves. All right, and then they they, they if that if you saw that I have Legos behind here, right? So I, I love to assemble, but what about people who don't? like to assemble, don't like to have a screwdriver, they cannot follow instructions. Okay, these people, they, they hate to shop at IKEA. All right, so IKEA is really not for them. They would rather go to a furniture shop and get it uh, and, 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 and buy and get it assembled, all right, and just deliver. Okay, because all they have to do is wait, even if they have to pay a little bit more. All right, so that is what certain consumers like, all right. So, but if we uh, if we like to buy at IKEA, if we like to go traveling, these are all the unpaid jobs that we are doing for the businesses and organization. It is their job, essentially, but we are doing it for them. And we don't get any. We, we don't get paid. Right? It eats up a lot of our time. It eats up a lot of our energy as well. It takes. It, it took me about like what two hours to, to to assemble a cabinet about this high. All right. So, yeah. So so you see that the amount of time that we waste. Okay, as consumers here. All right. So now, how much shadow work are you doing at the moment? Okay, how much shadow work are you are you yourself doing at the moment? Okay, how do you feel about doing it? How much do you think it reduces your free time? Okay, like, uh, like, like right now, actually, because of the MCO, all of us are teaching at home, working at home, you're learning at home as well. So in a sense, okay, in a sense that you are actually doing my work for me, in a sense, all right, because the, uh, all these things, I'm supposed to do it in class. Everything okay that I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to do it with you guys in class. I'm supposed to monitor discussions. I'm supposed to mark your uh, discussions, uh, see your answers, check your answers with you. All right, but because of this MCO thing, we have no choice. Okay, we have no choice but to do it in this online environment. So in a sense, you're doing shadow work as well. You're doing actually my job at the moment. All right, because you're do you're, you're doing a lot of uh, independent work as well. So this is part of shadow work as well, all right? Like, uh, if you buy things from IKEA, if you buy things from uh, online Taobao stuff, all right, you have to assemble on your own. You have to do a lot of things on your own, all right? So that is what we call shadow work. Now, how do you feel about doing it? How do you feel about doing it? Do you feel good when you're doing shadow work? Let's say uh, you, you, you bought an IKEA furniture. How do you feel assembling the IKEA furniture? Anybody wants to share? Anybody wants to share? How do you feel about uh, you know assembling your own furniture, checking in, checking in during uh, checking in during uh, what, uh do, do, do hotel stays, checking out during hotel stays, check in baggage drop when you're traveling? How do you feel about doing those? Feel trouble, okay? Very ma fun, right? So uh, yes. I, I do agree with you. Okay, feel very troublesome. Feel very um, I feel very the uh, 
they just not good because it can be confusing, especially IKEA furniture. Okay, especially IKEA furniture. You it just like you it takes out a lot of your time and then you're so afraid of assembling it wrongly, the screws are different and stuff. Right? So sometimes I feel that way. But uh, like for me, I love Legos as you can see behind here. So I I love assembling stuff like this. I personally, when I read about this, okay, when I read about uh, shadow work, personally I feel that I like it. Okay, I, I like to do shadow work. Uh, uh, sh shadow work. Why? Okay, because it gives me a lot of freedom. Okay, uh, I, I'm not sure about you, but for me, okay, but 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 for, but for me, if let's say the um, uh, if, if let's say I go to a store, okay, and then there is some there is someone following me, that there, there, there's just salesperson who's following me, keeping an eye on me, I feel uncomfortable. Okay, I would rather that I do my own shopping, I shop on my own. If I have any questions, I will ask them. Okay, I don't like them to follow me all around. So that that's personally my opinion. All right, and baggage drop also the same. Checking in during uh, the, the, during uh, when I go traveling also the same. All right, I I feel say a lot safer, a lot a lot a lot more comfortable. All right, to be able to do everything by myself but that's just me all right so a lot of people they uh, a lot of people they don't like it okay they don't like to do all this shadow work because they feel that it takes up a lot of their time very troublesome all right they rather they, they, they rather that pay that extra service tax and just let them do it by themselves all right certain people prefer that I'm not sure whether you uh, whether you belong to that or not okay if you feel shy to interact with me in the live chat all right it's okay after but when you're viewing this online if you're viewing this on the delayed telecast you can always comment down below on the chat box, all right, or even WhatsApp me, all right. So, do you think it reduces your free time? For me, yes. Okay, for for me, of course, it reduces my free time, but I don't mind. Okay, but for you, maybe you have some, maybe you feel a bit differently, all right. It reduces your free time, but but uh, and, and you don't like it, maybe I don't know, all right. So. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, the this is what we call shadow work, and the article inside provides you with a lot more information. All right, we're gonna go through it. All right. So far, so good. Any questions? Any questions? Now, if there are no questions, I will go to the next one. Okay, I'll go to the next one, which is let's discuss. All right. Now, this is where. Okay, this is where I need you to interact with me in the chat already. All right, because we are gonna discuss the advantages and disadvantages. All right, of shadow work to businesses and. Uh, consumers. So think about it. What is the uh, what are the advantages of shadow work to businesses? What are the disadvantages? Let's talk about the advantages first. Come on, type in your answers down below. All right, if you're watching this on mobile and to the right hand side, if you're uh, if to your right hand side, if let's say you're watching this on uh, the computer, come on, save costs. Okay, very good. Save cost for businesses. Anything else? What else? What are the advantages for businesses of shadow work? Come on, think about it. Besides safe cost, what else to a business? Come on. Save staff using oh no 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 no, no. meaning uh save manpower okay save man conserve manpower or lessen manpower okay good okay that means if you lessen manpower meaning that you can save costs in terms of paying your salary paying your benefits insurance and whatnot so a lot a, a, a lot of people a, a lot of people are using this to save that and then I feel that because of this uh, COVID-19 situation a lot of companies are actually going to start doing that right because they're not earning a lot that they're, they're making a lot of loss throughout this time so they're going to cut down a lot of jobs all right so you can see that a lot of businesses are are going to move towards this type of of uh, this type of shadow work kind of a thing, but that's just my prediction. All right. So what else? What else? How about the okay, okay, uh, lessons logistics. Okay, log uh, lesson logis logistical arrangements. 
Okay, lessons, logistical arrangements. All right, so we talked about logistics two days ago. All right, so you know logistics is how they how they arrange one place or to, to or from one to, to or from one place to get to another place. All right, so in a sense, if we use shadow work, okay, if we ask the consumers to do everything for them, it cuts down on our logistical arrangements. It makes management a lot easier. All right, easier management. Okay, easier management as well. All right, so in terms of managing the business, it's a lot easier. All right, so how about the disadvantages to a business? Okay, how about disadvantage to the business? What are the not so good things to a business when it comes down to shadow work? Come on, think about it. Only Yi Jing is responding me. How about the rest? Come on. Maybe customer will cause damage. Yes, the uh, in a sense the customer um, customer damage damaging the products. Okay, customers they don't they they uh they, they tell someone damaging the products they don't know how to assemble it right it costs damage after that after they, they they go and ask for refund or exchange right like uh, IKEA some sometimes you can trick IKEA you know like uh, the, you 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 accidentally uh, you you accidentally snap the you s uh, snap the board all right that means you when you load it it kind of snaps all right then you can bring it over to IKEA and say that oh I want a replacement IKEA will replace it for you all right in this sense all right in this sense. The, the, the business are the, the businesses are losing money in that, in that sense all right so unless you have a policy that says that once you once you buy there's no refund policy uh, then that, that is a different case already okay how about customer loyalty okay losing okay bis, uh, losing cert, certain customer loyalty Okay, because consume customers sometimes they want service, all right. Like uh, like I said, not everybody likes IKEA. Okay, not everybody likes to fly Air Asia, all right. Because even though it's cheaper, okay, even though it's cheaper, but in, at the same time you don't have that service, all right. So that's why a lot of people they say that they they don't they don't want to fly Air Asia because you have to check in by yourself, you have to do this everything by yourself, all right. But they they rather pay a lot more, okay. They rather pay to fly Mars, to fly Eva Air, to fly like Cathay Pacific, Singapore Airlines. All right, because they, they, they provide services. All right, you don't have to check in by yourself. You don't have to uh, do all this baggage drop by yourself. You just go to the counter and they'll do it for you. All right, but AirAsia, Scoot, okay, Jetstar, Melindo, everything wants you to do by yourself. That's why they are called uh, they, they, they are called the budget airlines. All right, so they lose out on this uh, on this particular customer who wants service. All right, so that is losing on certain customer loyalty. All right, anything else? Any any, any more disadvantages? They can think of to a business uh, to, to a business anything okay if there's nothing else it's okay we will we will add things along okay if you suddenly think of anything okay just put it in the chat box down below or to your right i will add in as we go along all right because you need this table huh? this table needs to be filled in because why the more we fill in the more points you're, you're going to need for your homework or your task later on all right so um whatever task that i'm doing please do all right because if let's say i have no time to do assignment two all right or the uh okay uh, it's just not possible for us to do assignment two because of the extended mco all right then i'm going to take all this task okay and then i'm going to make it into a, your assignment too all right so whatever task that i'm uh, giving you guys please do it all right please, please do it or I, I i may just ask you to submit if let's say the uh okay num, 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 num. if let's say the mco gets extended again all right so just just hope that it doesn't get extended all right so what else okay think of the advantages first okay what uh, what, what advantages does it bring to the customer or the consumer think about it Come on. Feel free, all right? Feel free, feel free, feel free. Uh, more freedom, correct. 
Okay, more freedom. Okay, I do agree with you. Okay, I do agree with you because uh, you, you enjoy a lot of freedom, all right, especially in terms of uh, in, in terms of shopping. All right, I go to a I, 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 let's say I go to Under Armour. All right, I, I really don't like the, uh, the, the 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 salesperson keep on looking at me. All right, keep on looking at me, keep on following me. I feel uncomfortable. Okay, I don't I don't think so. I feel that I feel that I'm being observed all the time. All right, so like for me, I prefer to do on my own. And then if let's say I need help, like I need a certain size and then I'll go and okay I, 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 I'll go and you know um, ask them about it if I go if I fly Air Asia I really like the process of dropping the baggage or printing it on my own because I feel a lot more free like okay, like you said a lot more freedom all right so that is the advantage for a customer or a consumer what else what else Cheaper. Can you say lower cost? Okay. Can we say lower cost? Okay. Lower cost because the uh, uh, when they ask you to do self service, usually they uh, or shadow work, usually they, there is no service charge. Okay. Usually, all right. Like you like uh, in the beginning, I uh, in the beginning of the class, I said the uh, okay, you, you have to clear your own tables at McDonald's, all right, or KFC and whatnot because they don't charge you service tax. All right. If let's say we if let's say they clear our table for us, we eat and then they clear our table for us, they will charge us service tax and it becomes a lot more expensive. That's why restaurants. Trans are high Lao and all these things they go and charge you they, they charge you service tax because you eat you go there you eat and you go all right and then of course the, the, the services that they give you as well all right so um th this is the thing all right if let's uh, it look it lowers cost for us consumers all right Con consumers in a sense all right because we don't have to pay that extra 10 percent service charge okay that's why ikea they don't do that okay we only pay sst we don't have service tax for ikea right and airport is different Okay, airport tax is a bit different because that even though we do things by ourselves, right? But the, it's the charges of handling your baggage, all right? That means loading it to the plane, carrying down the fuel surcharges and whatnot. So airports are a bit different, all right? So other advantages to consumers? Anything else that you can think of? Come on, think about it. Chat box down below or to your right. Come on. More freedom, lower cost, okay, and what gives more hands the speed limit by yourself? That means a uh, speed limit by yourself, meaning we can uh, what, 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 time, okay, time efficient. Okay, time efficient. All right, so you're right. Okay, in a sense that we can control the speed limit by ourselves. That means we can control our own time. All right, our, our own time. We want to when we want to do it, when we want to build it. Okay, let's say we buy IKEA furniture. Okay, we we bring it home. All right, we don't have to arrange. We don't have to arrange for delivery. We don't have to wait for the delivery to come. We just buy, go put it there. All right, when we have time, we assemble it. All right, so uh, in, in terms of uh, self-check-in, you know, baggage drop, we can estimate our time. All right, so as consumers, we can have a lot more freedom or a lot more efficient in our time planning as well. All right, so that is the event. No miscommunication between customer and worker, which is good. Okay, uh, no miscommunication okay. between customer and worker. Okay, which is very true. All right, so that there is no that there are no miscommunications between these two as well. All right, like uh, if, if we do everything by ourselves, right, let me just adjust this for a while. Okay, whoops. Sorry, yeah. Okay, there is no miscommunication between uh, customer and worker, which is good. All right, very good point. All right, so in, in a sense that the uh, because ev because everything we do by ourselves, there is no the the the, uh, the the worker will not be able to give us wrong information. All right, we are liable for our own mistakes. We we have to take the extra step or the extra initiative to find out what is going on. 
Okay, like uh, the, the IKEA furniture example, we have to read the instructions, the, the, the manual on how to assemble or how to assemble it safely, what kind of things that we need, all right, uh, before we assemble it. All right, so the, the if asset is damaged or whatnot, uh, everything is on us. The uh, Asia also the same, all right, it is, uh, it's written very clearly what time we need to baggage drop, how we need to do it, all right. So if let's say there's a mistake, okay, there's a mistake, there is no possible miscommunication between customer and worker. Very good. Alright, so uh, if let's say you have more points, you can always put it in the chat box down below or to the right hand side. Alright, so what are the disadvantages of uh, shadow work to the consumers? Disadvantages. Time consuming, am I right? Time consuming, troublesome. Okay, troublesome, some more. Time consuming, troublesome, some more. Anything you guys can think of? Come on, think about it. We need more points. Okay, this will be for your essay. Miss some important information. Yes, okay. Pause, uh, missing important information. Okay, especially, uh, especially when it comes down, especially when it comes down to like assembling IKEA furniture, flights, all right, uh, check-in, check-out time. All right, check in, check out time. Okay, because uh, like, like uh, the uh, okay, like Gunting, they want us to check in by ourselves, check out by ourselves. All right, but uh, if let's say they forgot to tell us where to drop the keys, how to fill in certain information. All right, we may miss out this type of important information, and at the end of the day, we are the ones who suffer. All right, so what else? Oh, so what are the disadvantages when it comes down to customers? Think about it. Think. We need more points. Uh, this will be for your essay. If let's say you cannot find it here, okay, if, if let's say you cannot find it here, then uh, you have to research on your own, okay? If let's say this table is uh, fully filled, then you have a lot of points to write in your essay. Any more? Time consuming, troublesome, missing important information. How about... You know, how, how about, uh, okay, no, lit, little to no interaction with the business. Okay, little to no interaction with the business. Okay, let me just uh, adjust this for a while. Huh. Okay, little to no interaction with the business. That means there is no interaction between the owner and the customer. All right, the customers don't feel connected. There is no like post. There is no connection. Okay, between the consumer and the business because sometimes it's the service that the businesses give us is the uh, are the ones that make us go there again and again. Okay, like Haiti Lao also the same. Like I, like I asked you guys last time, what makes Haiti Lao so different compared to all the all, all the other all the other hot pots out there? Because Haiti Lao, so you, you guys told me it's a service that Haiti Lao give you attention that they give to all to to, to all the. Um, to all the customers, all right, the attention to detail, the, 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 the pooling of the noodles and stuff. All right, other hot pots, uh, other hot pot restaurants or steamboat restaurants don't, uh, don't give you that type of service. And that makes you want to go there a lot more, all right. You personally feel that you know the business people there. You, you, you feel appreciated, okay. That's why you want to go there again and again and again. All right, so these are the these are the, these are the advantages and disadvantages of doing shadow work for both businesses and for customers as well. All right, any information? Uh, any questions so far? Anything you'd like to ask me? Anything? Come on, comments down below or to your right. Anything you want to ask me? Nope. All right. If there are no questions, all right. If there are no questions, then I'll give you your first task. All right, your self task for today. All right, is to you need to write an essay about. Uh, you need to write an essay about five hundred words on shadow work. All right, and I want you to write. Focus on the definition of shadow work. Tell me what is shadow work. 
examples of shadow work. I've given you guys Air Asia, uh, uh, Resorts World, Genting, IKEA, Pa Wang Fa, and Watsons. All right, you can write those in, and you can even bring in your own examples of shadow work as well. Okay, what other places or what other businesses that does shadow work that you have done before? Okay, advantages and disadvantages of shadow work on businesses and consumers. All right, you can go back to the previous slide. Okay, if you're watching this uh, on the delayed telecast, you can always rewind a little bit and screenshot that particular table that we did, which is this one. All right, uh, which is this one. So you can uh, refer back and write this essay. Okay, and would you implement shadow work in your business in the future? If let's say you have a, uh, you have a, uh, you want to own a future in a business, uh, you want to earn, you want to own a business in the future. Sheesh. All right. So you, would you want to implement shadow work in the business? Why and why not? Okay. If you don't want to implement, why? Okay. If you, uh, if you uh, don't want to implement, why? All right. Hi, Zhang Hong. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it, it's okay. All right. It's okay that your laptop shut off by itself. It's okay. All right. You can always rewind back later on to catch up on the task. All right. So this one would be a 500 word essay on shadow work. All right. So you can, you need to use the information here to write a 500 word essay on shadow work. All right. If let's say you find that the, um, the, the, the information here is not enough, you can always think of, uh, think of some more. Okay. Discuss in the WhatsApp group, share. Uh, share points around, all right? So just repeat, you have to write a 500 word essay of, on shadow work. What is shadow work? Okay, I've already explained just now what is the definition of shadow work. What are the examples of shadow work? All right, the, uh, I've given you guys Resorts World Genting, uh, IKEA, Pa Wan Fan, Watson, Asia. All right, so you can explain those or you can give uh, a lot uh, some of your own examples as well. And would you implement, what are the advantages, disadvantages on businesses and consumers? And would you implement shadow work in your business in the future? Why? About 500 words. All right, any questions so far? Any questions? Put it at the comments down below or the chat box on your right, all right? So you can always ask me questions, all right? You can always ask me questions and I will respond as I go along, all right? The chat is a little bit laggy, all right? So if I see a question, well, I will address it straight away, all right? So let's move on. Now, we'll go on to cybercrime, okay? We will go on to cybercrime, which is on page 64. Okay, if you have your book with you, please turn to page 64 on viewpoint 3. This one. Okay, so this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you a few videos, okay, and you're going to work on your own after that, all right? So, which of the below computer problems have you experienced before? You're working on a computer right now, okay? I'm working on a computer right now, okay? Or you are, or, or, or you're, or, or you're doing it on your tablet or your phone right now. So, which of the below computer problems have you experienced before? Which of the below? Computer virus, unable to log in, you forgot your password, you forgot your, your user ID, Accidentally deleted files, losing your data, USB device not recognized, cannot connect to the internet or connection not stable. Which of these problems have you encountered before? Tell me. Come on, we have nine people. We have nine people in the uh, in the uh, live stream right now. So tell me, what are the well, what are the below computer problems have you ex uh, experienced before? For myself, okay, for myself. I have encountered all of them. <laughs> okay, I've encountered all of them. Okay, uh, I have not encountered a computer virus ever since I switched to a Mac, right? Because a lot of computer viruses exist on Windows only. Last time under Windows, I have a, I had a lot of Trojans or viruses. Sometimes it's not even my fault. I didn't even download much things from there from, from the internet. Okay, because I it's from a pen drive because uh, I used my pen drive in the U, in UTM's library, right? And then it affected my pen drive, and I, I, I when I put it on my computer, it affected my computer as well, right? So uh, I've experienced all of them. I forgot my login ID and password. Okay, I accidentally deleted important files. Okay, there is a story behind it actually. Uh, last time, uh, last uh, last time when I when I went to Korea about like, back in two thousand back in two thousand and 2013, I think. Okay, 2013, I went to Korea. Okay, and then uh, when I was work, when I was walking in Seoul, okay, I saw this, 
this person who's singing okay uh, with the guitar all right it, it was really at night i think it was around 1 a.m okay he was still singing there and he, he has a very nice voice so i decided to record okay i decided to record that, that particular performance down all right and then i love the voice i love the music so much okay that uh that, that i keep on replaying but at that particular time i did not bring my laptop with me all right so i i it's just me and the memory stick okay that i had and uh the, the, the next day when I went to the palace so when I went to the palace and take some pictures I realized that my memory card is full and then uh, and I would delete certain videos that I've really transferred uh, that I really transferred to my other pen drive right uh, I accidentally deleted that video okay that, uh, that that I took last night uh, that I took the night before okay I was so down okay that that I that, that I like I, I I lost the performance okay I, I lost that, that 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 song like forever so I I wanted I wanted to walk around that, that 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 palace a bit some more, but I just lost my mood because I I accidentally deleted that file. But luckily, okay, I was able to download a particular software recovery tool, okay, that uh, that, that can recover back my deleted data. So luckily, I got the performance back. Maybe I'll show you in class one day, all right? That this performance that I was talking about, all right? So yeah, I accidentally deleted important files before. Okay, I lost my data because I forgot to back up my data. Okay, uh. Uh, it happened to me too. Uh, I think last year, I get last year when I went to Thai, when I went to Taiwan. Okay, I brought my laptop with me. Okay, I brought my laptop with me, and then uh, my water bottle. I, I put my laptop in my bag together with my water bottle. Okay, and the, the, the thing that I didn't realize was the uh, when the plane was up when the plane was high up. Okay, we were flying because of the pressure differences. My water bottle sort of exploded. The cap sort of came off and all the water spilled out and then my laptop was soaking in water for the entire five hour flight and I didn't know about okay so when I when I reached KL okay when I reached KL uh, when I went to retrieve my bag I saw it was like super wet I was like shit you know my laptop everything gone okay so my question papers my study guides uh, my quiz papers everything gone just like that Okay, so I had the last year was the was the time that I have to retype everything that I've done my lecture notes, uh, my, my PowerPoint slides, my exam papers, my question papers, everything I have to redo basically because there is no backup. Okay, I forgot to uh, back it up on my OneDrive. All right, so when my laptop went kaput at that time, everything goes with it. All right, so whatever that I have is on my pen drive and uh, those little things that I save on my office PC. All right, so yeah. Uh, losing your data is actually very, very heart wrenching. All right, so always keep a backup. Your one terabyte, okay, on your OneDrive, so make sure you use it. All right, USB device route recognized. Yes, okay, I have a lot of pen drives that I couldn't work. Okay, it worked, and then it don't, it doesn't work anymore. All right, so sometimes it has very important files inside. All right, and cannot connect to the internet, and connection not stable. All right, happens to us all the time, especially when you're on the college Wi-Fi. Sometimes you cannot connect, sometimes it's just slow. All right, so yeah, all of this I've experienced before, and I'm very sure you have experienced all, if not all, a majority of it. Am I right? If you have faced any other problems, tell me down below. Yes, that's why right. don't forget to back up files. And I, I agree, all right? So that was the lesson I learned the hard way, okay? I don't, I must back up my file. That's why right now, everything I store in my OneDrive, okay? Everything, I just save it in my OneDrive. I don't save it on my computer anymore, okay? Either on, on the cloud, on my OneDrive or stuff. Yes, okay, that, 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 will be, that will be good memories. Yes, get okay, a very good lesson, a very good memory to remember. All right, so yeah, uh, uh, I have my own share of computer problems as well. Right? Even though I consider myself a, 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 a sort of a tech wizard, okay, I'm very good in tech stuff, but it's all this. Okay, forgot, forget to uh, back up the data, okay, uh, forgot to back up the data, forgetting, uh, forgetting your password, your user ID. All right, so these are some of the things that happens to all of us. All right, any other questions? Anything you'd like to tell me or any questions like to address? Chat down below or on the right hand side. Okay, so if there are no more questions, then I'll go to the next one. Now, I want you to watch six people talking about the computer problems. Okay, I'm going to show you a video. Okay, usually I'll show you in class, but now I uh, now I'll show you online. Okay, now, now I'll show you online. It will run throughout. So, so I want you to take note on what was the problem and how do they solve the problem i'm going to play the video only once all right i'm going to play the video only once okay and then you you guys are going to write down okay if you have your book with you 
Okay, you have a book with you, you can uh, write it inside here. Okay, if you don't have a book with you, okay, you, you, you just have to screenshot this and write it down somewhere. All right, so you're going to have six speakers talking about their computer problems and how do they solve the problem. All right, any questions? Any questions? All right, if there are no questions, then I will switch it back to, uh, I'll switch it to the, uh, the video. All right, and I will let you guys watch it. All right. Just last night, I was trying to transfer some music onto my daughter's MP3 player, and my computer software said it didn't recognize the device. Oh, biggest issue is, is probably Wi-Fi connections. So, so the strength of whatever Wi-Fi, whatever router system they have, is, um, it just suffers. So you get in there early, you're on, you're fine, and once everyone shows up, then it starts to slow down. In the classrooms, it can be a, a major issue. So probably be Wi-Fi connections, number one. Um, I have been unable to open a program that I need to use regularly. And um, I've also lost a document. Accessing the network, logging on to the PC, and the program's not running correctly. Well, today, my one of my laptop screens stopped working so I have a laptop connected to two screens and one of them just did not turn on. Uh, recently the problem was my computer shutting down unexpectedly. So I followed the instructions that the software gave me. I did various things and nothing happened. So I disconnected the MP3 player, I turned it off, um, I cleaned the connections, I turned the computer off, and I plugged it back in, and everything was fine. Has, it hasn't been solved. <laughs> yeah. Non-stop problem. Well, I tried looking around in the folders myself, I tried tweaking a few settings, but in the end, I raised a call with the IT help desk who uh, phoned me to help resolve the problem. In those instances, we'd call our help desk, which is based in Romania, and they would give us a solution to try ourselves, or they'd log on and fix the problem remotely. I tried to move lots of wires, I tried to fix it myself, but in the end I phoned our IT department and they fixed it for me. I'm getting a new computer. All right, so did you manage to get it? Okay, so I am, uh, 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 it? it will be a little bit unfair for me to, uh, because I know a lot of you won't be able to get it on the spot like that. All right, so I'm uh, leaving this as a homework for all of you. All right, so you can always go back to the previous live stream, watch the video again, and fill this in. All right, and I'll give you the answer the next time. The, the, the next time we meet, actually, I, I actually I wanted to uh, actually I wanted you guys to watch this. After that, uh, we're gonna have a bit of discussion. But you know, I I, I know it's gonna take up a lot of your time if I'm gonna replay the video again and again and again. All right, so 
no worries. Uh, you can always watch it. You can always watch it the uh, on the uh, you know delayed telecast later on. Okay, and then watch the video again. Okay, and fill in this part. All right. Any questions so far? Any questions? Now, if there are no questions, okay, then we're gonna do a little bit of vocabulary work right here. All right. So before I let you guys watch the next video, it's gonna it's gonna be quite long. Okay. So we're going to see. Okay, we're, we're gonna see the. Uh, Okay, uh, we're going to learn a few words, all right? So I want you to replace the word in bold with the sentences in the below list, all right? The list is in your book, okay? The list is in your book right here, actually. Okay, right about here. Okay, right about here. Okay, the list is in your book, all right? So I will, for, for Zan Hong, okay, for, for Zan Hong, you left your book, okay? You, you, you left your book, so I'm going to switch it to the camera. So you can see it right here. Okay, you can see it right here. Okay, so Zhang Hong, it will be good if you can screenshot this. Okay, it will be good if you can screenshot this. I'm going to let the camera focus before I go back. All right. So these are the words. Okay, these are the words that they are inside your book. All right. So let's see. Okay, we need to protect our home networks, mobile phones, and tablets. Now, what is the best, okay, which one is the best word to replace the word protect? Which one? Those of you who have a book with you, okay, which is the best word? Come on, put it in the chat box down below, okay, or the chat box on your right. Which one's the best word? Secure, very good. Okay, very good. The answer is secure. The hacker fools you into paying them money. What is the word? What is, what is the word in the list that is best to replace fools? Come on. Okay, the first one is secure. The second one is... Come on, think about it. Tricks. Very good. Okay, very good. Tricks. Okay, malware infects your computer. Okay, malware infects your computer. What is the word suitable to replace infects? Come on. First one, secure. Second, tricks. Third one is... It's easy. Come on. If you're doing steals, uh, steals in fact, no, installs. Yijin, you're right. Okay, uh, sorry, it gets into. Okay, you're wrong. Okay, it gets into. Install something else. Okay, it happens when a user looks at the web. Looks at the web. Looks at is what? Come on. Looks at. All the words are there in your book already. Browsers. Very good. Okay, very good. And without you knowing, the website sends your browser to another server. Sends. Another word for sends in this case is which one? Come on. I have 10 people watching, but only about three of you guys are interacting with me. Redirects, very good. Okay, so to respond to the changes in cybercrime, the internet security continuously changes its approach. What is the best word to replace changes? What's the best word to replace changes? I have 10 people, the full class here, but only about two or three of you. Adapts, very good. Okay, the rest, come on. Okay, the, the rest, come on, interact with me. All right, last or two. The site loads the malware onto the computer. What is it? You have the answer just now. Somebody said the, the, the right answer just now. What is it? 
What is loads? The malware into computer. What's the best word to replace loads? Come on. Install. Very good. Installs. Okay, and last one. Okay, of course lah. It steals. All right. So these are very good. Okay, Zhang steals. Very good. All right. So these are the some of the vocabulary that you guys have to know. All right. Regards to uh, with regards to cyber security. All right. So you you learn a lot of words like I think the, the I, I think the word secure here will be quite uh, will, will be quite new for all for, for most of you. All right. Uh, install all of you know. Maybe redirect. Okay, maybe redirect will be new to you guys. Malware. Okay, malware is like those uh, bad software. Okay, mal malware is bad softwares. All right. So if let's say there are other words that you don't understand, all right, you can ask me in the comments down below or on the right hand side or even in WhatsApp or send me an email and I'll explain to all of you. All right. So or even just Google Translate it. And if you still don't understand, okay, you can send me an email or WhatsApp me. All right. Clear? Any questions? Any questions so far? Nope. Nope. All right. Now this one. Now this one, I think a lot of you can do this on your own. All right. We're going to watch an interview with Fraser Howard. And as you watch, I want you to number the scene from the video in the correct order. If let's say you have your book with you, it's right here. Okay. It's on page 64. Okay. Exercise number five. All right, so if you have a book with you, you can do it to you can do it together. Okay, you can follow along. All right, if you don't have your book with you, take a screenshot on uh, take a screenshot of this uh, particular slide right now. All right, and then uh, you you just rearrange it. Okay, you just rearrange it. Actually, the that, that is already one did it for you. Fingers strolling up and down the tablet is already done for you. All right. So this one is already done. All right, so we know that finger throwing up, uh, up and down a tablet is the first thing that appeared in the video. So it's number one. All right, according to your book, it's already done for you. So if you have a book, you can do it, do, do it together. If you don't have a book with you, all right, screenshot this and we're going to watch the video. All right, clear? Clear? And later on, for the homework, you guys need this video to do the homework. All right, so I, I'm going to play it on live, uh, on live right now so you can follow, follow along. Okay, if you cannot follow along, it's okay. Okay, after I give the answer, there's something that I want you guys to do as well. So you can always look back at my live stream and catch up on the video. All right, clear? Any questions so far? Any questions? Okay, if there are no questions, all right, I'm going to switch you guys back. Okay, I'm going to switch you guys back to the video. Technology has always been used by criminals and the internet where people can operate anonymously all over the world is the perfect tool. We now live in the age of cybercrime. This is Fraser Howard. He is a principal threat researcher at Sophos, one of the world's leading internet security firms. Cybercrime is fundamentally crime, but specifically using computers or the internet to deliver the attack. Internet security is basically the steps taken to protect yourself from online attacks. Internet security is necessary because criminals targeting users, targeting businesses, looking to steal data in order to profit financially from internet attacks. Today, almost everybody has been a victim of some kind of cybercrime. But how exactly does it happen? Here, Fraser talks us through an example of cybercrime. Most people today get infected as they're browsing a the web. So as they're browsing around, they come across a site, a real website, but one that might have been hacked by hackers. In order to redirect their browser to somewhere bad, bad stuff happens and their machine gets infected. And that's what we have in this video here. 
as the real web page loads, there's nothing that the user can see that tells them anything is going wrong. But as the page loads in the background, bad stuff is happening, and their machine is becoming infected with malware. And so after a second or so, this application, calling itself Security Shield, is now installed on the system, and this is the malware. And it's going to run, it's going to tell them they have lots of problems on their system, and it's going to try to trick the user into paying for removal of these non-existent problems. We can look at that exact attack from a geographical perspective to get a bit more idea of how it's constructed. We start off in the UK, which is where we're browsing a website from. And that first real site that we're browsing to is hosted on a server in Vancouver, Canada. As I said, this is a real site, a normal company site, but one that happens to have been hacked by hackers in order to redirect to somewhere bad. And it causes your browser to redirect to a server in Russia. This server in Russia then bounces your browser onto another server, this time one in the United States. One of the ways in which cybercrime is changing is the target, the actual data that the criminals are after is, is changing its in form. Rather than just being focused on information stored on a computer, we're now looking at information stored on mobile devices. There's a broader range of attacks that therefore become possible, and when we think about security and how we secure our information, we're not just looking at securing computers, we're looking at securing our home networks our mobile phones, our tablets. To respond to the changes in cybercrime and the types of attacks that the criminals are using, internet security also has to continually adapt. And so internet security nowadays provides solutions that aren't just focused on your computer, they're focused on your entire business network or even your home network across multiple devices, multiple computers. All right, so got it. Now this, uh, uh, wait, 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 a bit too loud. Okay, okay. So the, the, that is the video. Okay, that is the video for this particular exercise. All right. So let's see. Finger scrolling up and down a tablet is the first thing that you see. So what is the second thing that you see? The second thing that you see is actually outside the company headquarters of Sophos. All right. So what is the third thing you see? The third thing is an application called Security Shield. All right. The fourth thing you see is the map showing where the computer virus is from and a man sitting on a bench is the last one. All right. So these will be the answers. Right? But if let's say you have not done it, okay, you have not done it, if you have a book with you, you have not done it, you don't know what's going on, it's okay, you can always do it on your own and check the answer right here. Okay, you can always check the answer right here, okay? So, the, uh, th this will be all the, the different answers. Okay, any questions so far? Any questions? Now, if there are no questions, okay, you can always, uh, after this particular live stream, okay, it's always uploaded to my YouTube channel. You can always uh, view the videos there because you have another homework. Okay, so I want you guys to watch the video on the live stream again, okay, and do exercise six to nine, okay, six to nine, okay, on your, on your book right here on page 67, okay, sorry. Sorry, 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 not 67, on page 65, exercise 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, these four exercises right here, okay, these four exercises right here, okay, so uh, for Zan Hong, okay, let me just switch the computer's view to this one first, all right, so you have to, 
do all of this. Okay, we have to do all of this. If let's say Zhan Hong cannot find his book, okay, somebody please take a picture of this, okay, and send it to him. All right. So each of this, they, they say watch part one, part two, part three, part four. Okay, part one is the first question. Part two is the second question. Part three is the third question. Part four is the fourth question. All right. So it's the it, it, it goes. It, it goes like that, all right? So you can always watch back the video, okay, watch back the video that I've, um, okay, that, that I thought it's not exercise 22, exercise 11. All right, uh, watch back the videos that I've uh, said, I mean, I've uh, projected just now, all right, and answer the questions on exercise six to nine, all right, on page 65, all right? So, clear? Okay, and this one is the big one, all right? Exercise 11, okay? Exercise 11 down here, you have to write a summary of the video, about 100 to 120 words. So watch the video again, take down the main points and write a summary out of it, all right? Any questions so far? So right now, you have few tasks, okay? Number one, okay, now the, your first task is this one, an essay. Okay, so you need to write for me one 500 word essay, Okay, and one summary, okay, about 100 to 220 words on this one, on, on cybersecurity, and the essay is on shadow work, okay, so you have one essay, one summary, and you have exercise 6 to 9, not only that, you have this as well, okay, you have this particular exercise. So I've given you guys a lot of different tasks, okay, a lot of different tasks to tide you over the next few days, all right? So it should take you, it should cover a lot of our class's time. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comments on my video, all right, or send me a message or send me an email, all right? So yeah, any questions so far? Remember, uh, next week, your email is due, all right? So I want to see the email there. Right, and then uh, I'm in the midst of preparing your midterms, uh, your midterms online quiz. All right, so once I've uh, once I've got everything set up, okay, I will inform you guys the link to go to. All right, and then you guys can uh, access it from there. All right, any questions so far? Any questions? Everybody understand what you need to do? Okay, the videos are already uh, projected live just now. All right, so once this live stream is over, it's gonna take some, a, a, a few minutes for a, a few minutes for YouTube to process the video and upload. Once the high definition one has been uploaded, then you can continue on with the task already. How to send email to you? Okay, just attach, ju just write, uh, ju just go to your email, okay, and send it to this address. Okay, send it to this address. All right. So uh, just indicate, uh, just indicate uh, which, uh, which, in, uh, just indicate who, indicate who you are. Okay, which class you're from. All right, and just attach. Okay, just, just attach the word file there. Or you can, you can even save it on your OneDrive and share the uh, and share the file with me on this particular address as well. All right. Any questions? Any other questions? Well, I give, uh, I'll, I'll wait for further questions. If, if, if you understand, if there's no question, just put it just, just put it in the chat box. Okay, you can even WhatsApp to me as well. Okay, you can uh, you can WhatsApp me. You can uh, you, you can email me. Up to you, whichever is more, more most convenient to you. you. Can WhatsApp me. You can email me. Okay, of course I'm not going to give my WhatsApp number here. You guys have it, all right? Because this video is going to be public. I can give up my work email, it's okay, but uh, not my personal email, not my personal number. You guys know my personal number and that's enough, <laughs> all right? Anything else you guys have to ask me? Anything? Okay, if there are no further questions, then I will end the live stream right here. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching this live stream of mine. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always WhatsApp me, you can always email. Okay, okay you, you, you can always leave a comment in the video after it's been uploaded, all right? So I wish you guys all the best. Okay, please, please, please do all the work that I have given to all of you, right? In this uncertain MCO time, all right, we have to, 
all of us have to be responsible. All right, all of us have to be responsible and take charge of our own learning. All of your adults, okay, you're not secondary school children, you're not primary school children. I have to monitor you all the time. All right, of course, I'm gonna make your final exam a little bit more uh, simple compared to what I originally wanted it to be. But also, you must also do the effort on your own. All right, so all these live streams, all these uh, exercises that I'm giving you guys, please, 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 please do it at your own time and submit to me when you have the time. All right. Remember, any questions, leave it as a comment in the video after it's been uploaded. WhatsApp me, email me, all right? So thank you so, so much. Thank you, Zhang Hong. Okay, you're welcome, Zhang Hong. And have a nice day as well, all right? Stay safe, stay nice, stay at home. Hopefully, the MCO will be over soon, all right? I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.